Welcome back to part 2 of this series. In part 1, we understood why BP returns when medicines are stopped, who can reduce tablets and what lifestyle changes actually improve your odds. Now comes the real practical part. How doctors safely taper BP medicines one step at a time. How we avoid rebound hypertension and how you can protect yourself from the common mistakes that patients make when they try this alone. So let's begin your safe structure tapering plan. So you have been walking, eating right, sleeping well and your BP is normal for months. Great. And now comes the real question, doc, can I stop my tablets? See, tapering medicines isn't guesswork. It's a science. Now here's the rule book we follow. First, confirm if it's truly controlled. See, we don't rely on one clinic reading. We look for consistent home readings that are less than 130 by 80 for more than three months. Now day night pattern that is normal on a 24 hour ABPN without any hidden spikes and you should not have any red flags like organ damage to your eyes, heart, kidneys. Only then does the conversation start. Second, taper one drug at a time. See if you are on two or more medicines, we reduce the mildest one first. Uh, usually it's a diuretic or a beta blocker and then we watch. Every two weeks we check BP morning and evening. If readings stay less than 130 by 80 consistently for six weeks, great. Then we decide regarding cutting the other. Third, track and test. Don't just guess. See, you'll be surprised how many people feel fine while BP creeps back to 150 by 95. Now that's why we pair tapering with home monitoring logs and labs like creatinine and potassium. See, Google can't read your arteries, but your BP machine can. Fourth, expect the rebound and don't panic about it. See, about one in three patients see a mild bounce around five to 10 millimeters of mercury. But that's not failure, it's your body testing the waters without the tablet. Sometimes we pause tapering, sometimes we add a tiny dose back. The goal is steady control and not a trophy for being medicine free. It's like removing your training wheels, the first few rides may shake, but that's the part of learning, isn't it? And finally, maintain lifestyle. Now this is where most people slip. Once the pill goes away, so does the discipline. Stop exercise or salt control and BP returns faster than Swiggy in Russia. So remember, the medicine was the helper and not the culprit. So yes, many people can reduce their BP meds, but only if it's a doctor supervised experiment with data as the guide and not Google as the coach. Because there's a big difference between getting off pills and getting out of control. And if BP creeps up again, don't panic. Restarting isn't failure, it is maintenance. Now here's where things can really go wrong with the DIY doctors. Every clinic has a few. Now doctor, I was feeling great, so I stopped my tablets. I always smile and ask, would you stop brushing your teeth because they look clean today? Because that's what happens. BP control feels good and people assume the problem is cured. Let's get this straight. Your BP was normal because the medicines were working, not in spite of them. Stopping suddenly reverses the chemistry your body just got used to. It's like slamming the brakes on a moving train. Everything jerks back, hormones surge, arteries tighten and pressure shoots up often higher than before. Now we call it rebound hypertension. It's a fancy term for your body saying what just happened. Especially dangerous with drugs like beta blockers like metoprolol, bisoprolol which slow the heart. Now you stop them abruptly and your heart races faster than an auto rickshaw at a green light. One of my patients said, doctor, I stopped all medicines for two weeks and my BP was fine. But a few days later, I got dizzy at my daughter's engagement. We checked, his BP was 190 by 110. I told him, sir, your body did not forget your blood pressure. It just took a small holiday before reminding who's the boss. See, BP medicines don't just lower pressure. They reset your body's entire hormonal balance, your renin, angiotensin, adrenaline and salt water control. Stopping them abruptly is like pulling the plug on the stabilizer. The current surges, bulbs start flickering and sometimes one blows out. That bulb could be your heart, your brain or your kidneys. That's why every guideline from the Indian, American to the Europeans, they clearly say if medicines are to be stopped, do it slowly, step by step and only under medical supervision. Now we taper the dose gradually, checking the blood pressure every few days to ensure the body readapts without shock. So yes, celebrate your progress, but don't play doctor. When the time is right to reduce or stop medicines, your doctor will plan it like controlled landing and not an emergency jump. 
because hypertension is not managed by impulse, it's cured by discipline. Okay, now let's quickly answer some common questions. First, if I control my BP naturally, can I stay off tablets? Yes, if numbers remain normal for 6 months under supervision, definitely yes. Second, can I take tablets alternate days? No, most meds work 24 hours, skipping breaks the rhythm. Third, do medicines cause weakness? Usually no, but if you feel fatigued, tell your doctor the dose or type may need adjustment. Fourth, how long before I can think of reducing? The minimum 6 months of disciplined lifestyle and stable readings, not before that. Fifth, can I change or stop my medicine on my own? Short answer, no. Long answer, still no. So, do you really need BP medicines forever? Now, here's the honest truth. See, some of you will, some of you won't. And that's perfectly fine. If you are the disciplined one, the morning walker who actually walks and not just forwards walking memes, you might one day earn your independence. Now, if you are consistent with your salt, your sleep, your stress, your steps, your body starts helping the tablets do their job and sometimes it even takes over. But for others, those with diabetes, kidney disease or long-standing hypertension, the tablets aren't a curse. Think of them as silent guardians, small, steady and loyal. They don't imprison you, they buy you time, time to play with your grandkids, time to travel and time to live your story fully. And please don't let social media guilt trip you. Taking a medicine isn't a sign of weakness. Ignoring it out of ego, that's dangerous. Because the real lifelong problem isn't tablets, it's uncontrolled BP and that's the one that steals silently, first your arteries, then your organs and then your peace. But managing your blood pressure isn't just about salt, exercise or medicine, it's also about what's happening inside your head. Because the next big player in your BP story is stress. In the next video, I'll show you how your mind can literally hijack your heart and how to take back control one thought at a time. You don't want to miss that one. So hit subscribe, share widely and stay cardio wise. Goodbye and take care.